Simply learn. Your pace, your place. Hello, and welcome back to Simply Learn's e-learning course on ISTQB, Foundation Preparation. This is the third session in ISTQB, Foundation Level Training. At the end of this training, you will be able to understand static techniques, dynamic techniques, and the difference between them. You will also learn about the review process and static analysis using tools. Like in session 1 and 2, we have quiz questions at the end of this session as well, and you are strongly advised to answer. Let us now look at the agenda for this session. The whole session is divided into three parts. 1. Static versus Dynamic Techniques 2. Review Process and 3. Static Analysis by Tools We will cover the following areas under Reviews Activities of Formal Review Roles and Responsibility Types of Review Success Factors for Reviews Before we move on let us recall the objective of testing we discussed in Session 1 and see how these techniques are related to testing. Objective of testing is to evaluate the system under test to reveal defects and provide information about the state of quality. Two techniques can be used to achieve three objectives. These are static testing techniques and dynamic testing techniques. Let us look at how we can define these two techniques. The key difference between static techniques and dynamic techniques is that static techniques are used to examine the code or other project artifacts without actually executing the code, while dynamic techniques are used to examine the code through execution of code. Both the techniques can be executed manually or through use of an automated tool. Both techniques are complementary and should be used together for best results. Let us take an example to explain this better. When you want to buy a cycle, you would first want to examine it physically to see if it has all the parts fitted together in the right way and it doesn't have any scratches. This can be called static testing techniques. Then you would ride the bicycle on plain surface.